Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good Friday afternoon. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Kyle Keel. We're going to have a mostly cloudy to partly cloudy sky this afternoon. Uh, by about noon, we're starting to see that uh, cloud cover break up just a bit. So definitely a brighter afternoon ahead. Uh, tomorrow we will have lots of sunshine as well. It's going to be windy and quite a bit warmer. We're talking some highs near 60 degrees. Then a cold front comes through tomorrow night right as the trick-or-treaters are getting out and about. It's going to lead to some colder weather, but still pretty windy as we head into Sunday. We'll have a quick look at that wind forecast in just a moment. The wind today not going to be too bad, switching to the southeast 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures, they'll stay out in the 40s, so it's been a slow warm-up today with the clouds. But once that sunshine breaks out this afternoon, we should start to see those temperatures rise. For tonight, we'll have a mainly clear sky. Overnight lows will be in the 30s, normal low 34 degrees, so this is pretty typical of what we would expect here this time of year. That wind will pick up after midnight up to 15 miles per hour. Check out tomorrow's forecast for Halloween. Sunny to partly cloudy, we'll have a south-southwest wind 15 to 30 miles per hour, but we could have gusts up to 40 miles per hour at times. Check out these temperatures, middle 50s north, low 60s to the south, normal high 55 degrees, so doing pretty good. And this is a sharp contrast to last year when, of course, we had that accumulating snow. As I mentioned, tomorrow is going to be pretty windy, even uh, tomorrow morning. We'll have those winds basically out of the south and southeast, anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. Uh, these winds are only going to get stronger here as we head through the afternoon, but that south wind is really going to help boost those temperatures up. As we head toward tomorrow night, you can kind of see the wind start to change directions here around uh, 6 or 7 o'clock. So as those trick-or-treaters are heading out, uh, we'll start to see that front move in, and those temperatures will quickly go from the 50s to the 40s. And then with that northwest wind ushering in that cooler air, we will certainly be a lot colder here Sunday morning. Uh, those sustained winds will be up to 30, maybe 35 miles per hour, so gusts could be up to 40 miles per hour at times. And again, temperatures are going to probably start off in the upper 20s, and that wind will still be howling from the northwest here as we head through the day on Sunday, so that will keep temperatures only near 40 degrees. You can see that nicely here on the City by City forecast. We'll have the upper 50s to near 60 here for Saturday. Sunday will be upper 30s to near 40, so much cooler behind that cold front. But thankfully, that's short-lived, so if you don't like the cold air, uh, we do have some warmer air coming next week. Monday, we'll have a southwest breeze, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures will be in the lower 50s, but we're back to the 60s here, Election Day through most of next week.